morning, everyone. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Please join the Ukrainian Catholic Women's League today as we recite the luminous mysteries of the Rosary on this great day of our Lord's Transfiguration. Let us remember that the Feast of the Transfiguration is an important opportunity for us to look to Christ as the light of the world and to remember that we too can experience this spiritual change if we, if we faithfully follow his footsteps and are not afraid to embrace his cross in our life. Let us, with Christ, love the cross and all it brings, pain, suffering, sacrifice, and difficulties, so as with him we will arrive at the transfigured glory of the resurrection which he promised to us. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Let us say three Hail Marys for peace, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first luminous mystery, the baptism of Jesus. I desire to live my baptismal promises. Think of Christ's baptism when the Father called him his beloved Son, and the Holy Spirit descended on him to invest him with the mission he was to carry out. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell, take all souls to heaven, and help especially those in most need of your mercy. The second luminous mystery, Christ's self-manifestation at Cana. I desire to do whatever Jesus says. Think of Christ's self-manifestation at Cana when he changed water into wine and opened the hearts of the disciples to faith, thanks to the intervention of Mary, the first among believers. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my, my Jesus, Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell. 
take all souls to heaven, and help especially those in most need of your mercy. Третє світле таїнство. Ісус проповідує Царство Боже. Ісус прийшов в Галилею і проповідував там Євангеліє Боже, кажучи, «Сповнився час, і Царство Боже близько. Покайтеся і вірте в Євангелію. Отче наш, Ти, що є Син на небесах, нехай святиться ім'я Твоє, нехай буде, прийде Царство Твоє, нехай буде воля Твоя, як на небі, так і на землі. Хліб наш насушний дай нам сьогодні». І прости нам провини наші, як і ми прощаємо винуватцям нашим. І не веди нас у спокусу, але визволи нас від лукавого. Амінь. Богородице Діво, радуйся, благодатна Марія, Господь з тобою, благословенна тими жінками і благословенний плід лона Твого, бо Ти породила Христа, Спаса і Збавителя душ наших. Богородице Діво, радуйся, благодатна Марія, Господь з тобою, Благословенна тими жінками і благословенний плід лона Твого, бо Ти породила Христа, Спаса і Збавителя душ наших. Богородице Діво, радуйся, благодатна Марія, Господь з Тобою, благословенна тими жінками і благословенний плід лона Твого, бо Ти породила Христа, Спаса і Збавителя душ наших. Богородице Діво, радуйся, благодатна Марія, Господь з Тобою, благословенна тими жінками і благословенний плід лона Твого, бо Ти породила Христа, Спаса і Збавителя душ наших. Богородице Діво, радуйся, благодатна Марія, Господь з Тобою, благословенна тими жінками і благословенний плід лона Твого, бо Ти породила Христа, Спаса і Збавителя душ наших. Богородице Діво, радуйся, благодатна Марія, Господь з Тобою, благословенна тими жінками і благословенний плід лона Твого, бо Ти породила Христа, Спаса і Збавителя душ наших. Богородице Діво, радуйся, благодатна Марія, Господь з Тобою, благословенна тими жінками і благословенний плід лона Твого, бо Ти породила Христа, Спаса і Збавителя душ наших. Богородице Діво, радуйся, благодатна Марія, Господь з Тобою, благословенна тими жінками і благословенний плід лона Твого, бо Ти породила Христа, Спаса і Збавителя душ наших. Богородице Діво, радуйся, благодатна Марія, Господь з Тобою, благословенна тими жінками і благословенний плід лона Твого, бо Ти породила Христа, Спаса і Збавителя душ наших. Богородице Діво, радуйся, благодатна Марія, Господь з Тобою, Благословенна тими жінками і благословенний плід лона Твого, бо Ти породила Христа, Спаса і Збавителя душ наших. Слава Отцю і Сину, і Святому Духові, і нині, і повсякчас, і на віки вічні. Амінь. О наш любий Ісусе, прости нам наші гріхи, захорони нас від вогню пекельного, візьми до неба всі душі з чистилища, а особливо ті, які найбільше потребують Твого милосердя. The fourth luminous mystery, the transfiguration. I desire to be a new person in Christ. Think of Christ's transfiguration when the glory of the Godhead shone forth from his face as the Father commanded the apostles to listen to him and experience his passion and resurrection and be transfigured by the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and ever. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Take all souls to heaven, and help especially those in most need of your mercy. Fifth Luminous Mystery, the Institution of the Eucharist. I desire active participation at liturgy. Think of Christ's institution of the Eucharist, in which he offered his body and blood as food under the signs of bread and wine, and testified to his love for humanity, for whose sake he would offer himself in sacrifice. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my, oh my Jesus, Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. 
Take all souls to heaven, help especially those in most need of your mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, Slava Sister Christou. Today, as we celebrate the transfiguration of our Lord, all the special parts are in your bulletin to follow through the antiphons and the tropar and conduct. Our opening hymn today is number two, Almighty Father, number two. <coughs> to the kingdom of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord, Lord for the peace from on high and for the salvation of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for peace throughout the world, for the meaning of God's holy churches, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this holy church, for all who entered with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the most holy, universal Pontiff, Francis, Pope of Rome, most blessed Patrick, for the slow, most reverend, Metropolitan Lawrence, for the reverend priesthood that we are in Christ, and all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our nation under God, for our government, for all the military, let us pray to the Lord. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. 
for fable weather, for the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for us, if ever send travelers, for the sick and for the suffering, for those who have captive, for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that we may be delivered from all tribulation, breath, and misfortune. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help and save, have mercy, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, Remember our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother, O God, and ever Virgin Mary. Together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For all glory, honor, and worship befit you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help and save, have mercy, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, Remember, our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary. Together, all the saints, let us command ourselves and one another and our whole lives to Christ our God. Good and loving God, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. They who trust in the Lord like Mount Zion, which is immovable, which forever stands. You were transfigured on the mountain, O Christ our God. As much of your glory to your disciples as they could behold through the prayers of the Mother of God. Let your everlasting light also shine upon us sinners. Oh, give. Jerusalem. 
sojourn in your tent, who shall dwell on your holy mountain. You were transfigured on the mountain, O Christ our God, revealing as much of your glory to your disciples as they could be. Wisdom, stand the right. O Lord, send your light into your fidelity. They shall lead thee on and bring thee to your holy mountain. You were transfigured on the mountain, O Christ our God, revealing as much of your glory to your disciples as they could be. to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever.
touch us. Now and forever and ever. Amen. Holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Let us be attentive, peace be with all wisdom. Let us be attentive. Wisdom. A reading from the second letter of the Holy Apostle Peter. Let us be attentive. Brothers and sisters, be solicitous to make your call and election permanent. Surely those who do so will never be lost. On the contrary, your entry into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will be richly provided for. I intend to recall these things to you constantly, even though you already understand and are firmly rooted in the truth you possess. I consider it my duty, as long as I live, to prompt you with this reminder. I know by the indications our Lord Jesus Christ has given me how close is the day when I must fold my tent. I shall press to have you recall these things frequently after my departure. It was not by way of cleverly concocted myths that we taught you about the coming in power of our Lord Jesus Christ, for we were eyewitnesses of his sovereign <coughs> majesty. He received glory and praise from God the Father when that unique declaration came to him out of the majestic splendor. This is my beloved son on whom my favor rests. We ourselves heard this said from heaven while we were in his company on the holy mountain. Besides, we possess the prophetic message as something altogether reliable. Keep your attention closely fixed on it as you would on a lamp shining in a dark place until the first streaks of dawn appear and the morning star rises in your hearts. Praise your holy wisdom. Let us be attentive. Alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom, stand the right. Let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Let us be attentive. 
At that time, Jesus took Peter, James, and his brother John and led them up on a high mountain by themselves. He was transfigured before their eyes. His face became as dazzling as the sun, his clothes as radiant as light. Suddenly Moses and Elijah appeared to them, conversing with him. Then Peter said to Jesus, Lord, how good that we are here with your permission. I will erect three booths here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He was still speaking when suddenly a bright cloud overshadowed them. One uh, out of the cloud came a voice which said, This is my beloved Son, on whom my favor rests. Listen to him. Then when they heard this, the disciples felt uh, forward on the ground, overcome with fear. Jesus came toward them and laying his hand on them said, Get up, do not be afraid. When they looked up, they did not see anyone but Jesus. As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus commanded them, Do not tell anyone of the vision until the Son of Man rises from the dead. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Slava Jesusu Christu. Slava Dear brothers and sisters, today we have this beautiful feast of uh, Transfiguration of our Lord Jesus Christ. The story of the Transfiguration of Christ is a preview of what it would be for Christ in the resurrection. Matthew's Gospel tells us that Jesus' face shines like the sun and his clothes became dazzling white. And Jesus is glorified right before the very eyes of Peter, James, and John as he communicates with Moses and Elijah. And um, just prior to it, uh, Peter has gotten into uh, some big time trouble with Jesus. His master has told the disciples of what will be happening um, in Jerusalem, that he will be tried, he will suffer, and he will be killed. And on the third day, he will be raised again. And um, Peter rebukes Jesus for these words and tells him it will never happen to him. For this very effort, Jesus calls him Satan and uh, lets Peter know that he is not uh, that rock upon which the church uh, will be built, but a stumbling block an obstacle to the very will of God. And it is right after this that that transfiguration uh, occurs. But Peter doesn't want to give up his position and by setting up three tents here, uh, he points to the protection God provided for the Israelites during the 40 years track um, throughout the desert, obviously led by Moses. So Peter's problem is that he wants Jesus to enter Peter's own reality of religious things in which Moses is at the center, not Jesus. And uh, so Peter's uh, dream is that Jesus would listen to him or this to Moses, that uh, Jesus would follow his expectations of all days. And the evangelist Matthew says, while Peter was still speaking, he was interrupted. Suddenly, a cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud uh, came a voice, This is my beloved Son, with him I will pleased. Listen to him. According to Matthew's Gospel, it's not uh, new. Uh, the disciples have heard this voice at Jesus' baptism. In fact, we call that time uh, Theophany, Bohoyaulenia. Uh, which means God's manifestation. God's manifestation begins with Jesus' baptism by John in the Jordan River and concludes with a resurrection, which is previewed in the story of today's feast uh, of the uh, transfiguration. And at both uh, the baptism and the transfiguration, God manifests himself 
in a unique way and speaks from heaven. This is my beloved son, listen to him. And Peter, James, and John have been uh, there both times to hear what uh, God has to say. Um, between baptism and transfiguration, were the uh, disciples able to listen to, to Jesus? It seems uh, not often. The disciples of Jesus still don't have a clue as uh, what this is all about. So God, in His infinite wisdom and patience, says uh, uh, to them again, listen to him, listen to, to Jesus, not to Moses or Elijah, as Jesus is fulfillment of both. And occasionally we too, dear brothers and sisters, we receive um, uh, theophany, those moments uh, which speak of uh, the appearance or manifestation of God when God comes to us in a unique and powerful way, like a decision to marry another person, that moment when we become parents or uh, a vocation, uh, choosing a profession, or a moment of discernment, or quick decision to flee the place of war. Such moments don't last very long, but uh, they are previews of the life of, um, in God that is to come, as we will listen to them, and um, they will uh, transfigure our lives. And dear brothers and sisters, everyone can recall those moments when Jesus comes uh, to our hearts. Whatever it was a private moment or very public, that moment became a preview of the journey that uh, has brought you to this very moment uh, now. Uh, for Jesus and his disciples, it was a preview of what will be uh, happening, uh, the fulfillment of salvation of humanity, that is the feast of all feasts, um, uh, the Easter. And uh, this is why we call this feast also in Ukrainian Spas, uh, uh, Savior's Feast, previewing the feast of the feast, the Easter. Um, even here and today, that we are about to do is to receive Holy Eucharist. Um, and the Holy Eucharist um, is the transfigured glory of Jesus Christ, and also preview of our own eternity. So as we receive the precious bread and blood of our Savior, we know that in doing so, we are previewing the life to come, the life in Christ and the life in His kingdom. Uh, and many times we could be confused a bit and let us not despair and be encouraged. We have the advantage of scripture, a rich tradition of ours and historical perspective. And after two, we could make the same mistake as Peter. Often we expect God to live up to our own expectations rather than seeing uh, 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 God's will in our lives. While Peter was a first-hand uh, witness to the uh, wonders of Jesus, he still uh, got confused too. Um, he had an idea of what Messiah should be, but God obviously had a very different and better idea. So this feast of the transfiguration is the encouragement for all of us as it was uh, for the first disciples uh, to live uh, our faith right now here and uh, with our last name, transfigured savior in the words of the father listen to him follow him in glory god loves you no less than moses or elijah let us uh, make loving praising and uh, thanking him the purpose of our day, and we will be transfigured with him as well. Amen. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory, Glory be forever. forever. <laughs> let us all say, let us, um, with our whole soul, our whole might, let us say, Lord, Almighty Lord God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy on us, O God, in the greatness of your compassion. How we pray you hear us and have mercy. We also pray for the most holy universal pontiff, Francis, Papa Prom, most blessed Petrus, with the Islam, most reverend Metropolitan Lawrence. Uh, uh, for those who serve and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers, for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. 
also pray for our nation under God, for our government, for the military. We also pray for peace in Ukraine. Hear us, O Lord, and have mercy. We also pray for the people here present who wait your great and bountiful mercies for those who have been kind to us and for all Orthodox Christians. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For you are a merciful, a loving God, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Again and again in peace, let the faithful pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Znovu, Patrozi, Bola, molimo si, Bola, Hirčo, šopte zdanom sem, očiste naše duše, tjela i vsake, skvarne tjela i duha, danes sem ostati presne vštovno, kot prežiš boj, sem smaj, sem nam več vizdit. Na je strahu, nebojte vi služi, ne pinoš, ne vede, tvoj nebesan car, sta spodobate se. Wisdom, so that always protected by your might, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Middle of God, remember in his kingdom, the most holy, universal Pontiff Francis, Pope of our most blessed Patrick, Svetoslav, most reverend Metropolitan Lawrence, all the priests, the diaconal and religious orders, our nation under God, our government and all those engaged in the service and protection of our country, ever to be remembered founders and benefactors of this holy church and all your Christians of the true faith, always, now, and forever, and ever. Amen. Let us complete our prayer to the Lord, and for the precious gift that have been presented, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy church, for all who entered with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. 
that we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and misfortune. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together, most holy, good, in life giving spirit now and forever and ever. Peace be with all. Let us love one another so that you might be of one mind in confessing. The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive, Christ is I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, light from light, true God from true God, begot not me, why may be with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand with fear, let us be attentive to offer in peace the holy oblation. And mercy and peace a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. Singing, crying, exclaiming, and saying the triumphal hymn. <laughs> He apostle Kazuchi. This is my body, which is broken for you, for the forgiveness of sin. In like manner, the cup after the supper, saying, I drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins. We offer 
offer to you, yours of your own, in behalf of all and for Перетворивши духом твоим святым, Аминь, 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 чтобы был причастен к небесной реке на спичке духом нас подкив за царство, на смерть скатвоне, на целый свет приятный проги просим, нужны их исполнить и просим всяк правду швери с подчелом. Especially for our most holy, the Immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God, and ever Virgin Mary. Among the first, remember, O Lord, the most holy, universal Pontiff Francis, Pope of our most blessed Petrus, with the slow most reverend Metropolitan Lawrence, uh, for the sake of your holy church, has granted him living peace, safety, honor, and health for many years, and rightly impart the word of your truth. So remember, Lord, the city of the city of the Lord, 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 the and grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and sing the praises of your most honored, magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. Having remembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts which have been presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. That our loving God, who has received them in spiritual fragments upon his holy hand with a mystical altar, may send our us and return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and misfortune, let us pray to the Lord. Help and say, have mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. That this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful, guiding our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For the forgiveness and remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask the Lord. For all is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. That we may spend the rest of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. For a Christian ends your lives one day painless and ashamed and peaceful, and for a good defense of the awesome tribunal of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Having asked for unity of the faith and for the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, let us command ourselves and one another in our whole life through Christ our God. And make us worthy, O Master, with confidence, without condemnation, to their call you the heaven, the God, Father, and Son. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Through the grace, mercies, and loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together, most holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and forever and ever. Let us be attentive the holy things for the holy. Approach with the fear of God and with faith. As the comes in the name of the Lord, God the Lord has appeared to us.
first communion hymn is number 17 in our midst, Nazareta. We'll start in Ukrainian, number 1-7. <clears throat> Thank 
Number 80, Holy God, we praise your name. people of God and bless your inheritance. Blessed be our God, always, now, and forever and ever. And the right, having received the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, life-giving, awesome mysteries of Christ, let us rightly give thanks to the Lord. Help and save, have mercy, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Having asked that this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us command ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For you are our sanctification. We give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. 
you bless those who bless you, O Lord, and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house and glorify them with your divine power. Do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to your nation under God, to our government, to all your people. For all good given in our perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And we give glory, thanks, and worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Blessing of the Lord be upon you with his grace and love for mankind, always, now, and forever and ever. Slava Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, thank you very much for coming today, joining us in today's celebration, this beautiful feast of uh, the transfiguration of our Lord Jesus Christ. We'd like to thank those who are watching us via live streaming today as well. And now we'll conclude our service with a um, blessing of our fruits. So who has uh, some more fruits to bring, you can bring them here forth, and we'll bless them uh, all uh, together. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Uh, Lord Jesus Christ, God of God, who said to your disciples, uh, uh, whatsoever you ask, uh, when you pray, believe that you shall receive, and it shall come to you. We humbly beseech you, bless and uh, sanctify these fruits which your faithful servants have brought today to your holy church. May these first fruits uh, preserve for the life and health of uh, those present here as well as those who are absent. May uh, they be an effective medicine for, for those who are sick and uh, as well as protection against the assaults of the enemy for those uh, who keep them in their homes and may uh, those who partake of them enjoy the fullness of your goodness and blessing. For you are our God of peace, uh, love and mercy and to you. Uh, the lover of mankind, we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Bless, O Lord, these new fruits of the vine, which uh, through the uh, celebrity of the air and drops of rain and temperature uh, weather, Hey, you have graciously been pleased to let attain at this time unto maturity. May our partaking of this offspring of the vine be to gladness for us, and may we offer it as a gift to you for the purification of sins through the sacred and holy body of your Christ, and whom you are blessed together all Gracious in life, given spirit now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Our Master, Lord, our God, who have commanded that we offer to you yours of your own and who repay this offering with your eternal good things, who graciously accepted the offering of the widow who gave according to her means accept these first fruits which your servant a present here have offered to you and a lot to them a place among your eternal treasures a grant in them an abundant harvest of your earthly benefits together with all things uh, profitable uh, to them for blessed is your name and glorified is your kingdom, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, 
now and forever and ever. Amen. May the blessing of the Lord descend above this uh, fruit and remain with them forever. And with those who are partaking of them, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. With the Spirit of the Holy Watcher, may God's blessing descend upon the Spirit of the and the Lord, amen. And the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Glory be to your Christ, our God, our whole glory be to you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Give the Christ, our true God, risen from the dead, who manifested his glory to his disciples on Mount Tabor for the sake of our salvation through the prayers of his most holy mother of God and of Saint um, uh, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, Saint Athanasius, whose church it is, and of all the saints will have mercy and save us, for he is good and gracious and loves mankind. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. So everyone could partake of um, uh, some fruits today who didn't uh, bring uh, your own. You can, you can uh, enjoy them here in our church. Please take advantage and um, uh, the sign that we are blessed in fruits, they mean mat maturity, that we are coming to maturity, bringing those goods from God, and fruits are a manifestation of God's goodness given to us. So in His glory and His transfiguration, He is giving uh, us of all benefits for our salvation. And the sign uh, that they are mature, we are bringing them to God to be blessed and to partake of them. And also, it's a sign that we are growing in our maturity uh, of our own faith. I wish this all to you and have a blessed Sunday. Slava Isusu Christu. Slava Namika. Please join us in our closing hymn, number 49, Praise Thanksgiving, first and last verse. Praise Thanksgiving, God our Father, for the gift of shame.